Hey everyone, Victor is here and boy do I have an awesome mechanism here for you today. So let's see what we're working with. Our starting material here is this uh, orthobroma anisole and we're treating it with malonic ester in the presence of sodium amide, which is an incredibly powerful base. So the low hanging fruit here would be to take our malonic ester and treat that with our amide, which is a very strong base, pull the proton off and get the corresponding enolate. But the problem here is that the enolate that we get here is, while it's an okay nuclear file, but we don't really have anything particularly electrophilic in our system, and that bromine that we have on the aromatic ring isn't necessarily a very good leaving group, and that ring is electron-rich, so we cannot even do a normal um, nucleophilic aromatic substitution. But one thing that we can actually do here, if I bring my starting material, my bromide, back here, I can react it with sodium amide by pulling this proton off and making a rather exotic reactive intermediate, which we refer to as the benzyne. Now, an interesting thing about the benzyne is that benzynes are incredibly electrophilic. And look at that! We have a nucleophile in the system. So what we are going to do? Well, naturally, nucleophile is going to react with an electrophile, giving us the following negatively charged intermediate. Due to the size of the nucleophile that we have here, it is going to attack the further part of the triple bond that is a little bit further away from our methoxide, because the one right next to methoxide is a little bit crowded. Now, from this point, the negative charge that we have on our carbon, on our aromatic ring, is incredibly unstable. This is an electron-rich aromatic ring, that negative charge on the carbon is not stabilized by anything, so the only thing that it can do, it is going to reach for the only electrophile that it has around, which is going to be the carbonyl, giving us the following four-membered ring intermediate. And, of course, this four membered ring is very unstable. So what we are going to see here, instead of a normal living group dissociation that we typically see for the tetrahedral intermediates of this sort, we are actually going to break that four membered ring in a retro Dickman style reaction, and we are going to end up with the following intermediate, which, after the final proton transfer going to give us our target molecule. Isn't that just crazy? I love this mechanism. And if you think that this mechanism is just as awesome as it is crazy, hit that like button, check out this video next, and I will see you next time.